What is good, y'all? It's been a while since we've uh, had this little angle here where I get to talk to you face to face through the GoPro. Um, but yeah, um, just gonna give um, some quick thoughts over my experience at the Espa concert. Now, um, it was at the mu the Toyota Music Factory, and um, it was a uh, a pretty good. I I had an okay seat. Um, I, I definitely had some distance uh, between me and the ladies and the stage and everything, but hey, you know, I ain't, uh, I, I got a budget and I, I couldn't pay, you know, on uh, multiple hundreds to be on the, like, the very front of the stage, so, um, I will take what I can get, and man, they came through though. The energy was felt throughout the room. We had a lot of people um, in the crowd jamming and singing along. It was quite a fun time. Ended up getting pretty much all the hits. Um, a couple of the uh, popular B-sides and junk as well. That was awesome. Um, and then we even got like some solo um, material from each of the ladies that was really really cool they all had um new original songs as far as i know um some of them could have been covers but this but to me they seemed like they were all like original tracks that we just never got to hear before um and uh i have uh, a little bit of footage of um everyone's except for was it karina I don't have any footage of Karina's, um, sadly. Um, but I did take little bits of uh, the other three solos, um, and uh, I, I didn't take the whole things just to make sure, you know, if people don't want to be spoiled, they can just get a little, a little taste of what it was like. Um, but they all did really, really great. Um, uh, the the only <laughs> the only solo that I, I thought was just like, well, like a little awkward was was Giselle's and, and that's that's funny because that's my bias but you know her just trying to be like I'm too hot for you I'm too hot instead of like the you know the way it comes across on spicy um <laughs> this time it was just like it, it, it just seems like you're, you're trying to force the cool girl energy and you're not really exuding it um and and so that was, that was just a little odd but she still would put on a show and and uh that was great um you could definitely tell there was a good amount of lip syncing um but there was some nice um live vocals throughout um the night as well so it was a mix of both um so you know it, it's what i kind of expect especially from a lot of the bigger groups is that there will be um some good amounts of upload singing like we ended up getting a bit of that with blackpink um i feel like we maybe possibly got a little bit of that with straight kids too but um live vocals man um did get to have a lot of moments where you got that um, especially when they come through with the handheld mics that's when you know for sure oh they coming through coming through and uh they had to come through with that and i dug it they really tried to interact with the crowd a good amount um I guess this is just gonna be the American thing because at every every show it's been happening ever since like it became a big thing to do at twice concerts now it's just every concert and everyone now everyone does that so I guess what we really need to do is give props to Arsenio Hall um, because that was his thing at his show <laughs> and now it's being done at all these concerts please excuse the hiccup there um, but yeah, um, just want to throw that out there. But, um, anyway, fun old time. Um, and, uh, I'll definitely have a bunch of that footage and stuff put in, um, after I do my quick little show of a little bit of the merch that I have and a quick unboxing as well. So, um, the shirt that I ended up getting is this little... Uh, Espa shirt, yeah, yeah, it's 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 pretty nice. Got your uh, spicy on there, and then and then and then you got this crazy design here on the back, just looking so cool and so dang all fresh. And uh, yeah, 
that's that's for moi um, and then I also ended up getting a little gift um, for um, my sis and uh, I got these pins got these enamel pins here um, so you can just pin it on whatever you'd like so um, a little bit of decoration of the symbols for each of the members so I got that and then um, I did go to uh, paint box and got me um, at least one thing I, I have so many albums I need to buy like I have a ginormous list but I just haven't been able to spend as much money on albums lately but um, I, ha I was able to get one thing off of my list and I decided it was going to be one of my favorite albums of the year so far the village of perception chapter three and uh yeah billy van i love me some billy so let's uh take a little look see at what we got here so it seems like we have a little pouch this time so let's see what's inside our pouch we have this photo card here mm -hmm. there we go there we go we got is that hard enough? I think that's hard enough. And we got Suki. This is uh, the one that the the person, the the uh, salesperson who uh, helped me at Pink Box said that they knew, and it was like, yeah, I don't really know Billy that well. The only one I know is uh, Suki. And I was like, yeah, she's really good. She's a great dancer. Um, yeah. yeah, this is hard enough. We got two. It's definitely, definitely hot enough. Okay. Got that. And then we got one tiny Polaroid here. Some more uh, Suki. Tiny little Polaroid there. Or Polaroid-like, you know. Um, we got a little postcard here of all the members. And then it even has a connect the dots on the back to create the owl. So that's kind of neat. And then we got some more stickers. I got another poster here. Oh, maybe it's not a poster. Yeah, it's a poster and also a lyric sheet. So poster part here. And then all the lyrics are here on the back. So that's kind of neat. So I can end up seeing all that along with the credits and all that good stuff. I swear the, the production is amazing. So to end up find, learning more about all of the uh, people involved is dope to me. So yeah, so many, so many good tunes on this album. Like it's truly, truly amazing. Um, but anyway. Let us move on to what's on the inside of this bad boy. So this uh, actually has like a little plastic that's surrounding it. So it can kind of protect the paper. So this little plastic covering. And then we even holds the disc here and uh, I will get it into a uh, little or a little quick uh, and it goes a little something like oh look at these lovely photos all the lovely members oh looking good oh yes Mm -hmm. Wow, look at all the members. That's my bias. I hope she's doing okay after the loss of her brother, sadly. Still sad about that. Sean looking great. Look at that, man. Yeah, so these are some lo more lovely photos that I'll definitely take some time to, to look at. You can see you looking nice. Ooh. But yeah. That was a quick little look on the back side. It does have the track list too. So, yeah. That was a, a quick little look through um, the goods of uh, the concert and um, 
the Billy project and there's really not too much to update you guys on the uh, unboxing well, of the K-pop collection since there's barely anything added to it from this year so I guess I will hold off on that and just allow you to get to the part that most people want to see anyway the concert footage so uh, take it away editing me <laughs>
as the title says, we Till We Meet Again, and we wanted to sing this as an encore, as a message to you guys. Till we meet again. Be able to come back to Dallas, right? Yeah. we come back to Dallas to perform, and if we do end up performing here, please come back and see us. Together, then? 